Waverly Hills Sanatorium commenced as a school, which used to be then transformed into a tuberculosis ward designed to residence 40 patients. After a brutal tuberculosis epidemic, the facility ballooned to over 400 patients. The overcrowding used to be coupled with affected person mistreatment and even rumors of unlawful clinical experimentation. It is oftentimes alleged that an amazing 20,000 to 63,000 plus sufferers died inside its walls. Perhaps the most well-known characteristic of Waverly is the so-called body chute, or death tunnel, an underground tunnel designed to do away with useless our bodies away from the eyes of patients. The tunnel is a normal hotspot for paranormal activity, however in truth, the complete complicated is. Waverly has been referred to as the most spiritually energetic area in the world, and for a proper reason. The tiny city of East Bethany, New York, is recognized nearly completely for being domestic to Rolling Hills Asylum. Alongside the mentally disabled, the facility additionally housed the physically disabled, criminals, the homeless, orphans, and even widowed women, all of them, regardless of why they had been there, have been acknowledged as inmates. Approximately 2,000 sufferers formerly died in the asylum, and many extra are idea to have been quietly buried in unmarked graves at some stage in the property. The website is regarded for its surprisingly excessive quantity of paranormal activity. One instance is the well-known shadow hallway. A hallway with allegedly the most shadowy apparitions of any region in the world. Another of Rolling Hills's well-known ghosts is Roy Kroos, a 7 feet 5 inches massive who lived and died on the property. He nevertheless haunts the building, even though at least he is a benevolent spectre. Penhurst Asylum started out as a college for the mentally and bodily disabled in 1908 and rapidly grew to be something else. For example, a former affected person filed a federal class action lawsuit against the asylum. Haldeman v. Penhurst State School and AMP. Hospital confirmed that Penhurst had violated its patients' 8th and 14th Amendment rights and led to the landmark ruling that the disabled in country care have a constitutional proper to fantastic care and education. Some of Penhurst's alleged abuses encompass chaining sufferers to its walls, strapping grown-up sufferers into children's cribs for days on end, and even blatant homicide of troublesome patients. Many high-profile paranormal investigations have taken area at Penhurst. And nearly everybody has left with at least one chilling experience. Danvers Lunatic Asylum is a specific one. It used to be constructed in Danvers, Massachusetts, or as it was once at the beginning named, Salem Village. Yes. That's Salem Village. The website of the well-known witch trials of 1692. The construction used to be designed in a dark, gothic fashion and grew to be the thought for H.P. Lovecraft's Arkham Sanitarium. Which later stimulated Arkham Asylum of Batman fame. Patient care in Danvers was once so horrific that the journey has been known as a current attention camp. Severe overcrowding supposed that sufferers had been mechanically forgotten, frequently maimed to unintentional days in isolation or more than one day except for food. The area has come to have the nickname, the birthplace of the prefrontal lobotomy, which says pretty a lot. Unsurprisingly, earlier than its nearly whole demolition, the deserted asylum was once well known for its apparitions, ghostly lights, and unexplained sounds. Paranormal exercise or not,
Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum in West Virginia is a staggering structure. It is the second largest asylum globally and the second largest hand-cut stone masonry construction, after the Kremlin. It is as intimidating as it is massive. Despite its size, it used to be solely intended to residence 240 patients. By the 1950s, it housed 10 instances that number, including, for a quick while, Charles Manson. In addition to overcrowding, abuse and overlook have been par for the path at the location. Visitors record feeling an overwhelming experience of struggling in the place, as properly as seeing apparitions. One ghostly resident is named Ruth. She is recognized for attacking visitors. Screams are frequently heard from the electroshock chambers. One constructing supervisor reporting seeing 40 doorways to affected person quarters slam shut simultaneously. The present-day proprietors have embraced the estate's popularity and host ordinary ghost excursions and different paranormal-themed events. In 1874, Athens Lunatic Asylum opened in Athens, Ohio, taking in each of these with intellectual issues and the criminally insane. The asylum rapidly grew to become overcrowded, underfunded, and infamous for affected person abuse. Electroshock remedy and different merciless practices have been common, however worst of all is the staff's widespread use of ice pick lobotomies. Across the facility's grounds are hundreds of graves containing unidentified patients. The gravesites lack names however are marked with numbers. Although something variety machine they characterize has on account that been lost. Ghosts are nearly not possible to leave out when journeying the gravesites. Inside. There is supposedly a define left from the lifeless physique of a patient, unable to be eliminated by using repeated cleaning. Beechworth Asylum, additionally regarded as Mayday Lunatic Asylum, operated from 1867 to 1995 in Beechworth, Victoria, Australia. Over these 128 years, over 9,000 patients died inside its walls. And some continue to be still. One ghost is stated to be a female who used to be thrown from an upper floor window simply for being Jewish. And the rabbi known as to cross her to clinical remedy couldn't arrive in time to stop her from a gradual dying out on Beechworth's lawn. Another is a little boy James who talks to journeying children. There are ghost doctors, nurses, patients, and a complete solid of ghosts beside them. Every with their very own unhappy or creepy backstory. Taunton State Hospital opened in 1854 in Taunton, Massachusetts, and over its lifetime, it housed lots of human beings with intellectual fitness conditions. Most magnificent amongst them was once Honora Kelly. Nicknamed, Jolly Jane. Jane confessed to having dedicated 31 murders and stated her aim used to be, to have killed extra people helpless people than any different man or female who has ever lived. It's stated that her work isn't finished. So she haunts what is left of the asylum to this day. Other rumors about the vicinity persist, inclusive of the trust that a satanic cult ran it. Allegedly the cult would use sufferers as sacrifices in darkish rituals in the medical institution basement. Most ghost encounters have taken region in the basement as well. Such as a shadowy discern that crawls alongside the walls, watching, and an invisible pressure that prevents some site visitors from getting previous the backside step of the basement stairs. Ararat Lunatic Asylum later renamed Aradale, 
used to be the single greatest asylum in Australia when it opened in Ararat, Victoria, in 1867. Authorities didn't entirely shut the facility down till 1997. It had housed tens of hundreds of sufferers over its lifetime. Consisting of lots of violent criminals whose intellectual stipulations avoided them from being held in standard prisons. Ararat was once often noted as one of the most haunted locations in Australia till being repurposed as a university. Owed in phase to the over 13,000 sufferers who died inside its walls. Ararat used to be stated to be domestic to several spectres, trapped in afterlives of suffering. This has made it one of the most famous ghost tour areas in the country. Known additionally as Kent County Lunatic Asylum, St. Augustine's Asylum is placed in Chartham, Kent, England. It was once open from 1876 to 1993, and in these 117 years. The construction used to be domestic to a monstrous quantity of human suffering. In the 1970s, a nurse at the asylum teamed up with a nearby college researcher to create a prolonged document on all the inhumane injustices they witnessed inside St. Augustine's walls. Most notably, they special a moderate use of electroshock remedy on patients, whether or not the treatment used to be warranted or not. Visitors to Augustine's final constructions record feeling watched. Listening to footsteps at the back of them, seeing glowing lights, seeing orbs, and surprising emotions of dread and depression. And even if there is nothing supernatural about the place, any video of the rotting, gloomy indoors is certain to unsettle you on its own.